The Minnow board is an Intel Atom processor based board for the small and low cost embedded market. Minnow board is based on an open hardware design and firmware using UEFI specifications. This video shows you how to update the Minnow board UEFI firmware. We will review how to download the firmware, connect a serial terminal, update firmware from the UEFI shell, and update firmware from the SPI connector. First, download the latest binary firmware image from UEFIDK.com. You can find the link at the bottom left corner of the Intel UEFI Community Resource Center webpage. Even if you recently purchased the Minnow board, it's a good idea to check UEFIDK.com for the latest UEFI firmware. The release package is available after you accept the EULA. The zip file contains release notes, two versions of the firmware image, a firmware update utility, and documentation. Copy the FD and EFI file to a FAT32 formatted USB key. We'll be using the Minnow Board's built-in USB to serial terminal function as a console. In Windows 7, use the open source TerraTerm program and FTDI driver. Links are available in the Minnow Board serial console document. Download and install the software before connecting the Minnow Board to your Windows system. Now connect the mini USB connector to your Windows system using the cable included with the Minnow Board. A new COM port will appear in the Windows Device Manager. Open TerraTerm and use this COM port number to set up a new serial port. Now connect the USB key and power adapter to the Minnow board. The board will boot to the UEFI shell, which is visible from TerraTerm. You'll need to switch to the USB key before running the firmware update utility. Type FS0 colon at the shell prompt and hit enter. The firmware update utility is easy to use. Just type firmware update dash F and the name of the firmware image file. In this example, it's minnow.fd. Once the firmware update begins, do not interrupt the process. The system will automatically reset after the update. Use the ver command to verify the firmware version after update. The Minnow board also features an SPI connector. This is useful for recovery situations in case the UEFI shell utility cannot be executed. This SPI method requires additional hardware. In this example, we'll demonstrate SPI reprogramming using the Dediprog SF100. Make sure you disconnect the power adapter from the Minnow board before connecting the SPI header. The board can be damaged if the power adapter is connected during flash programming. Now locate the 8-pin SPI header on the Minnow board, which is labeled PROG. Attach the Dediprog 8-pin SPI cable with the red edge indicating pin 1 facing away from the USB ports. Install the Dediprog software, then connect the SF100 programmer to your computer's USB port. Now you're ready to start the SPI programming procedure. Open the Dediprog engineering application. Select the W25Q32FV part, which should be the last part listed in the dialog box. Before programming the flash, let's check the configuration options. We're going to select the Reload File Each Time option to make sure the firmware image file is properly loaded before programming. Now we can load the new firmware image. Use the Load File dialog to locate the new minnow.fd file. The programming process involves erasing the SPI flash, programming the new image, and verifying the image. We're going to save some time and use the Dediprog Batch option, which runs all of these steps in sequence. This operation can take several minutes. Make sure not to interrupt the process, otherwise the system won't boot after programming. Once the new image has been programmed, close the Dediprog software and disconnect the SPI cable. Reconnect the USB terminal, apply power, 
and boot the Minnow board to verify the image was programmed properly. SPI programming will erase the Ethernet MAC address. Use the dash M option of the firmware update tool to restore the MAC address. Your board's MAC address can be found on a label above the serial number. If you need more information about SPI programming, please refer to the documents included with the Minnow board zip file. There are SF100 documents for both Windows and Linux.